Let's go. Hey, champ. Just wanted to let you know we're wrestling tonight. And it's for the title. Ooh. Uh, yeah, Kurt actually texted me about it this morning. My dad texted you? He never responds to my text because he says he's not really a texter. Huh. That's odd. Anyway, want a picture together? Picture together? Uh, sure, I guess. Why? Is this something you normally do with your opponents? Not really. I just thought it would be a nice memento for you to have after you lose your title tonight. Oh, wow. That's a keeper. What a... I'll text you the pick. What a guy. Uh, thanks. Actually, no, on second thought, I'm not really a texter. I'm not really a texter. That's a fact. I'm, I'm really not. I'm really not. I'm always answering late. The wait is over. This one's for all the marbles, and it's coming up next. We just got a Jason Jordan versus a championship match. Opponent. I don't know where. Time to crown a champion. Jason Jordan, when can your dad come back? Please tell us. We're actually waiting for that. But this is the song Elias wrote about him to keep cat and other straight spray away from his band that's hilarious what a fact that isn't a lot well done well done wwe games you got some humor all right here we go the following contest is a is championship a match and it's for the intercontinental championship i'm kind of glad we kept the intercontinental championship man Kid's the real deal. Jason Jordan bet for his opportunity to his dad. What a guy, man. What a child, right? What a child. You gotta love it, man. It's buzz. It's buzz. Let's go. Typical Jason Jordan, man. Intercontinental Championship is on the line. Here we go. Mancho T versus Jason Jordan. Introducing the challenger. From Chicago, Illinois. Now we know who the challenge is. Do we know who the champ is? Here we go. Ring the bell. What did you guys think of Buzz's decision? Win by pinfall or submission. Rather than his custom title. I mean, it was a no-brainer. Do you want a prestigious title that guys like Bret Hart and Shawn Commentary Michael saying something very or nice right now. Self-awarded, made-up title that has no history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish he could have kept both titles. We, 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 we did it correctly. Decision. We had to pick the uh, Intercontinental Championship, you know? We got to keep the legacy of that championship going. Yeah, it's cool to have one championship just just out of nowhere, you know? But it's like, eh, there's not much prestige in it. We got to build it up. The IC title, we could continue the legacy of it, you know? Instead of building the whole thing up, I feel like that's a good thing. Plus, I guess we would have a bunch of no DQ matches. If we kept it, right? That would have been a little bit too cheesy, man. It's a big improvement from last year. It's an insane improvement from last year. I think they should keep this style of my career. Because it just makes it more interesting. And less Instead of more repetitive, you know? Look at that. Macho T with the elbow to the chest of Jason. To the shoulders, man. Jason Jordan. Oh, nice reversal there. Uh, look at that, taking him down. Uh oh. Oh, he's going for a pinfall. Might not be the smartest idea. Jason Jordan with the kick out. Come on, Jordan. Uh oh. Ooh. We got we got to get some reversal. We're not looking too good right now. Look at Jason Jordan from one corner to the next. Just showing off right now. Showing off his athleticism. We might have a new champion here, guys. Oh, my Satik. Can he reverse? No. Nope. Come on. Oh, couldn't do it. Uh-oh. We got a reversal. We got to do this one. Oh, my Satik with a reversal. Taking him down. Well done. Oh, going for a savage DDT. This is it. Let's go. It's over. Let me guess you took the luchador class. I absolutely did, you savage. You already know. And here's another look at some incredible action. Look at that, that cutter. That savage cutter right there. 
Going for a pinfall, but obviously couldn't do it. And then the and back and forth, both superstars a legendary taking him down right there. Trying to go for another pinfall, but couldn't do it. And then Jason Jordan showing off from one corner to the one next. Jason Jordan just got buried by Macho T. There you go. Still champ. Real classy, Byron. Uh-oh. What the heck? What? Yeah, the buzz. It's the sound of the cicada emerging after years of slumber from their underground existence. Just as you have emerged from the underground and made your presence known. Unfortunately for the cicada, when it tunnels its way to the Earth's surface, it only has mere weeks to live before it is eaten by a predator. Well, I am that predator. For I am the eater of worlds. You should have stayed underground, my friend. What do we ever do to Bray Wyatt? Now, I am coming for you. You hear the buzz? <laughs> it has oh, potential what the be hell? very bad situation for Buzz. <laughs> what is that? Sound effect, dude. What in the world, man? They call him Buzz. They use the buzzing noise. I know. It's very, uh, very well hey, done. I should. Should... Anything, but oh. I've been meaning to ask you since you got to Raw. What's up, Bailey? What's up with you driving this retro van everywhere? Uh, it's just what I'm used to, I guess. I kind of lived in it when I was on the indie scene. Kind of? Okay, I, I definitely lived in it when times were tight. And then when I signed with WWE, I decided to uh, fix it up. Looks nice. Keep it running. Interesting. And the bug logo? <laughs> oh, this used to be my dad's work van for his exterminator business. It's pretty much the last thing he gave me. I guess his way of supporting my crazy wrestling dreams. That's cool. I mean, other than the fact that it still kind of smells like pesticide. Well, I think your dad would be really proud of what you've well, thank accomplished you, Bailey. so far. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Bailey's being so nice to us. Sasha Banks is going to get jealous and she's just going to attack her backstage. Watch, and it's not going to be my fault. Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this. We got Curtis Axel. No way. We talents on the roster to date against an imposing adversary. I can't wait. Bailey out here asking personal questions to your boy, man. That's a fact. She, she, she wants, she wants some action, man. <laughs> Bailey, you got to calm down, Bailey. Your best friend, Sasha Banks, is not going to be too happy. That's all I got to say. Oh, yeah, here we go. Curtis Axel getting an opportunity. This is the toughest match you have right here. I'm pretty sure it will be. You guys know me. I lose the I've been losing the easiest matches, so. I mean, not Kurt, why do I Kurt Hawkins, I'm sorry, man. Kurt Hawkins, here you go with some macho T. I always get caught. I think I did that very in a video recently and somebody just somebody was demolishing me in the comments oh my god curtis axel we defeated curtis axel already in a in a handicap match we got kurt hawkins over here getting a championship opportunity is this for the title i completely skipped it i don't know if it was but regardless kurt hawkins you know oh nice look at kurt hawkins we might be able to get him so I wonder what happens if we get Kerr Hawkins win us, you know? I wonder if, if we take the L right here. Hey, guys, don't be surprised if we take the L. Come on now. Sometimes you got to lose. Listen, I'm, I'm willing to put the kid over so that his streak, so that his streak ends, you know? He needs to get some momentum going. <laughs> Poor Kerr Hawkins, man. Oh, nice reversal. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about, man. Putting in the work. Look at that clothesline. Face planting right there. Oh, going top rope right now. What a guy, man. What a guy. Of course, reversal. Here we go with the black mask. 
It's over. It is over for going in for the Savage DDT. Followed by Pinfall. It's devastating. That's what he's got him covered. Kurt Hawkins. And this one's history. Well done, brother. It's a good match, though. And here's another pick of the move. Look at that. Match. Savage cutter. I don't like to throw around a lot of Poor Kurt Hawkins, man. Feels bad. Let me get some Bible thons in the WWE chat history. for Kurt Hawkins, man. Look at that. Missing that this elbow right the there. The and then with a black mask. A legendary performance. Turn heel. <laughs> I was gonna let him beat me to see if something crazy happened. But probably not. Oh yeah. The crowd's kinda booing me right now because of it. Come on. Here comes Bray Wyatt once again. Not again. That again. It's the sound of insects buzzing all around us. But unlike you, they serve a purpose. My fireflies light up the night so maggots can seek out and dine on rotten flesh and waste. But you, you're simply a parasite, feeding off of everyone you encounter and giving nothing in return. Your lineage itself was built on someone whose sole purpose was to leave death in their path, to exterminate. And I find that amusing. Because that is exactly what I'm going to do to you. You see, at TLC, you can leave your precious title at home. I'm not concerned with that trivial ornament. What I am concerned with is your demise. My your demise? Extermination. I'm not going to stand here and let you try to play mind games with me. But what I will do is accept your challenge for a match at TLC. Is there going to be a tables match? Oh, what my God. I have no <laughs> That's idea disgusting, dude. That we're dealing with. <laughs> Luckily, we're not the ones dealing with him. He's Buzz's problem now at TLC. Oh, my God. Bray Wyatt. It's disgusting, dude. Wow, Bray. Where are you putting... Where are you getting all of these worms out, brother? <laughs> getting crazy with the edits over here. I see you, Bray. Produ you got production working extra hard, huh? Yeah. Yes. Hey, Matt. Sorry to interrupt um, whatever it is you're doing. What does it look like? <laughs> I'm rosining my violin bow as one does. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, listen... I've got a match coming up against Bray Wyatt, and I was just kind of hoping you might be able to give me some advice. Brother Buzz, are you woken? <laughs> um, yes. I don't think so. I'm woken, yes. <laughs> if one is not woken, then there is no hope in combating a force such as the monster you speak of. And even I, who is supremely woken, have lost many battles to him in the Great War. <laughs> okay, so how do I become woken? That is like asking how your vessel breathes the air. It must materialize on its own. Or there is the technique of a jaunt to the multiverse, but all this rosining about and dispensing of wisdom has given me much weary. What? I must retreat to my quarters. Good evening, come here. <laughs> Yeah, that was amazing. Okay, thanks. I guess. Oh well, my god, sure that, that was, was amazing. For Buzz. Coming up next up. Oh, Bray Wyatt with the Bray attack. Oh, of course, we got a backstage area match. I guess. I am awoken. Oh my god, that was an amazing promo, dude. Are you kidding me? Matt Hardy. I think that was the best one so far. Matt Hardy. Definitely nailed it right there. That was that was awesome. I hope there's more with Matt Hardy, dude. With the woken one. Let's go. Here we go. Backstage. Oh. Guys. 
get Bray Wyatt to your band at the parking lot. Absolutely, we could do that. Is that all we got to do, though? Seems a little bit too easy. Do we just drag him over there? Come on, Bray. Let's go over there, man. Let's walk it off, brother. Come on. Come on, Bray. I didn't know our band was in the backstage, dude. Oh, nice drop kick. Absolutely stopping Bray Wyatt. Let's go. Picking up the chair and just putting in the work. Oh, my band is here. Let's go. Is the parking lot attendant from last year there? I want to. I want to. I want to chair shot him, please. Uh, to your band in the parking lot. Okay, Bray. Come on. Come on, Bray. Come over here, brother. I want to keep this one short and simple. What do I have to do? To throw him in there? Oh, there you go. Uh oh, here we go. No. Don't do it, Buzz. Oh. Why is there gasoline next to it? Bray. No, Bray. Don't do it, Bray. Don't do it, Bray. No. 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 Macho Man gave it to him. Don't do it, Bray. Macho Man gave it to us. Don't. Sister Abigail. He's gonna burn it. No. No, don't do this. Oh my God. Twisted individual would destroy something wow. so much to buzz. Bray Wyatt would. The man operates on the T is absolutely center. heartbroken right this. now. What in the world? My god, that was his home. What have you done, Bray Wyatt? That was his home. Papa now. <laughs> Papa, no. Oh, my. Did you see Matt Hardy? Woken one. You should have helped us out. Woken one. You should have helped us out. We needed some tip from you. We needed some tips from you. Next week. How do we get to the arena? That's what I want to know. There you see Buzz oh, arriving for his match tonight at TLC versus Bray Wyatt. Yeah, I noticed he wasn't driving his van. It's okay, thank Bray you for exposing me right before and the that match. It wasn't just any van. It was a gift from his late father. You have to imagine he'll be seeking revenge on Bray Wyatt tonight. Very disappointed. Finn Balor, what's up, brother? Hey. Are you going to sit there? Are you going to... you just going to say, hey? I had my shares of battle with Bray Wyatt in the past, so... I know how you're feeling right now. Did he ever set fire to something valuable of yours? No, I'm sorry about that. If I could give you some advice, it would be to dig down and find a violent place deep within yourself, within yourself, which I imagine won't be hard considering what he did. No, it won't. Good luck. And remember, when it comes to Bray Wyatt, be prepared for anything. I will be. Thank you, Finn. Like, can I get it too sweet? No? Okay, sure. I guess we can't get it too sweet from Finn Bal. Can we get it too sweet from Bailey, though? Let's see. Oh, we got an actual hey, cutscene. You probably don't want to talk about it right now, but I'm sorry about what Bray did to your well, dad. She in my locker room. I know it meant a lot to you. Huh. Thanks. I appreciate you saying that. Wait, 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 wait. Were you going to hug me because that's your thing or because you're worried about what might happen tonight? Oh, good question. Um, more the second one. Wow. I'll be fine. The only person anyone should be worried about is Bray Wyatt. Wow. Bailey out here doesn't even believe on us. Are you <sighs> kidding me? Come on, Bailey. Hey, it's Michelle. Love your streams as always and also watch your YouTube videos. Uh, King Slayer, what's up, man? Thank you for the bits, brother. Uh, thank you for, for that compliment. I appreciate it. No huggy huggy over here. Not today, man. Bailey doesn't believe in us. What can I say? I'm very disappointed, Bailey, but whatever. Let's go to the match. Bring me some Sasha Banks back, man. Uh, what? What? <laughs> 
What the hell? <coughs> you getting gassed in, bro? Bray Wyatt out here. What did we ever do to Bray Wyatt, man? Look at that. Next, Bray Wyatt. What the championship? What is happening right now? He's just Where dragging us. Somebody needs to stop this. He's just dragging us right now. This is madness. What is Bray Wyatt doing? What do we ever do to Bray Wyatt, bro? This is a storyline that came out of nowhere. Typical Bray Wyatt storylines, man. Uh oh, we're waking up. Look at this. We are at the Wyatt compound. What a setup. The mask man. Zombie triple. What? Everybody's here. Are we seeing thing? Follow the figure with the bat. Follow the figure with the sledgehammer. We're going for zombie triple H. We're going for zombie triple H because we haven't. We haven't messed around with zombie triple H. We haven't even countered zombie triple H. The other one was the mask attacker. What is happening? Zombie Triple H, dude. Look at this. Are we? Are we dreaming right now? Oh! Triple H trying to go for a sledgehammer. Do we call him Tr Zombie Triple Monster Triple H? Monster Triple H. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, wow. With the sledgehammer, of course. Player must win by KO, of course. Here we go. We got a bunch of weapons in here that we're able to use. Let's go. And 2K is exposing us. This is the first match that we get to fight, I think. Without the mask, man. Feel very uncomfortable that that is the case right now. Once again, let's go with the victory. Look at that. A belly to belly. See, it was important to come across Bailey. So she can show us the belly to belly back to back, you know. And look at that. Samoa drop. But Triple H wasn't done yet. The zombie Triple H. And then Triple H with a pedigree but wasn't enough. Super kick after super kick. But Macho T and finally got it done. What? Here's the mess. Once again we're getting dragged. Zombie Triple H was busted open by the way. Look at that. Continue. What in the world? This chapter 10 has been insane so far. Are you kidding me? What is up next? Into a grave? <laughs> Bray Wyatt is pissed. I don't understand why Bray Wyatt is so upset at us, guys. It makes no sense why he is so upset at us. Oh, look at that. Match T retaliating. Oh, here we go. We're going to have a match against Bray Wyatt. That's what I'm talking about. And our health is actually full. That's a miracle. Get Bray Wyatt to the tractor. Then hit him with a strike. Uh, absolutely. I mean, if you want me to do that, I will absolutely do that. I got you. I got you right now. I feel like this is going to be insane. I have no idea what happened to you guys. Like, I'm literally, like, I have no idea. I knew we were going to encounter Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt compound. Absolutely didn't know what exactly we were going to do, though. Okay, we're... What do we do? Like, we just strike on him? Here we go. What you see throw him right in front of it? Bray Wyatt with a close line. Oh, man. Both of these superstars are exhausted. Do you hear the cry, dude? Who is getting... Who is getting destroyed by Bray Wyatt inside that house? By Sister Abigail or whoever. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at that. A piece of wood. Using it like a... Oh, breaking it, too. Come on. Should we go for the... Get Bray Wyatt to yellow health. Then bring him to the porch. Of the cabin, okay. Look at that. So 
an actual. Uh oh, uh oh. Not a super kick, but an insecurity. Come on, come on. Elbow to the. Come on, to the stomach right there. And look at that. Bray Wyatt with another reversal. Okay. We gotta get Bray Wyatt a little bit weaker than that. Nice neck breaker there. We gotta finish her. Gotta make sure we get a good reversal though. There you go. Boom. Black Mass and he connects. It's over for Bray Wyatt. Watch the tea with a candlestick now. Look at that, applying the damage. It's over for Bray, man. He's gonna get him to red and that is gonna be it. He's still in yellow. Uh oh, couldn't hit it. Oh, we might we might actually get defeated over here. We gotta be careful. I don't know what he's trying to drag me to though. Come on, Bray. Get out of here, Bray. Ooh, nice chop. Let's go. These guys are exhausted right now. Uh-oh. We're gonna burn it down. No way. Revenge is bittersweet, dude. Oh my god. Macho Tito. Oh, what? He just got a light out of nowhere. Okay, boy. Ooh, Bray Wyatt. Sister Abigail has been burned down. Wow.